Mint has recently announced that they will be shutting down. As a result, you might be looking for an alternative way to keep tabs on your financial information. This YNAB versus Empower review will help you decide between these two popular money management tools. Whether it's day-to-day -day budgeting, investment tracking, or monitoring your net worth, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll keep our focus on the comparison between YNAB and the free tools available within Empower. Hey everyone, this is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money, a channel dedicated to helping you strengthen your family tree and live financially free. If you decide to go with YNAB or Empower, please consider using our affiliate links here or in our video description as they support this channel. Thank you so much for considering it. Okay, what is YNAB? You Need a Budget, more commonly known as YNAB, is a popular zero-based budgeting software that facilitates a unique approach to intentional spending and saving. By encouraging you to allocate every one of your dollars to various jobs, YNAB requires you to be proactive. As a result, you have to carefully consider how you want to use your finite monetary resources. YNAB has been around for nearly 20 years. Their co-founder Jesse Meacham created the product and evolved it from a spreadsheet-based product to the full-featured budgeting software app that it is today. Now, what is Empower? Well, you've likely heard of Empower, but you may know it by its previous name, Personal Capital. Empower gained popularity through its free offerings, including cash flow tracking and tools to analyze investment accounts and retirement planning. Empower is also a wealth management company that offers investment management and financial planning services, but the tools are free for everyone. All right, let's launch into our YNAB versus Empower Ultimate Showdown. Let's take a closer look at some of the pros and cons of these fantastic tools first to see which one might be right for you. First, let's dive into YNAB's best features. Here are a few of the most popular features, but know that you can also find more detailed descriptions in our detailed YNAB review video on this channel. Unfortunately, I won't be wearing the boxing gloves, but you know you could still learn a lot. All right, efficiency and automation. Have you ever tried to budget and promptly uh, given up? Honestly, haven't we all? <laughs> it might be that the method you're using is too restrictive or too time consuming. It's essential to have an efficient process that you'll be able to keep up on, right? After the initial setup of YNAB accounts and categories, you can maintain your budget in less than 30 minutes per month. Some of the ways YNAB helps you automate your finances and efficiently manage your budget include the following. Direct import from bank accounts, automatic categorization of transactions based on previous entries, and auto-assign, which is essentially the ability to click on one button and have YNAB assign all incoming funds to various budget categories. And then you've got educational resources. If you're having any issues getting started with YNAB, there are numerous resources at your fingertips to help you get answers to your questions. Live webinars, podcasts, help pages, blog posts, and a top-rated customer service staff are all available to help its users. There's also a YNAB book, a Facebook group, a YNAB Reddit, and much more. However, these things don't just help you use the YNAB app, they also encourage you to think about money in a way that will directly impact your ability to save and spend according to your values. Even non-YNAB users can benefit from many of the resources they provide. There's also syncing and sharing across devices. With YNAB, there's no excuse for not knowing how much money is left in your spending categories. With a web application, a mobile app, an Alexa skill, an Apple Watch app, and a widget for iPhone, you can easily input and monitor your spending from anywhere. Additionally, you can share budgets with up to five additional users without paying additional subscription fees. Now let's review YNAB's areas for improvement. While YNAB may have one of the most dedicated user bases on all personal finance software programs, a few drawbacks might discourage some from using it. The first one, cost. YNAB will cost you $14.99 per month if you pay monthly or $99 per year if you go for an annual subscription up front. It may seem counterintuitive to pay for a budgeting app, however, not having to deal with sales pitches or advertisements, it's a huge plus. They also offer a 34-day free trial, so you can use it for a full month and ensure it'll work for you before committing to a subscription. And then the second area for improvement would be ease of setup and getting started. YNAB has improved its initial customer experience by adding detailed prompts to help you get started adding accounts, budget categories, and setting initial targets. 
However, because the process is so different than what most people are used to, you probably shouldn't expect to be off and running as soon as you set up your YNAB account. While the steeper learning curve we're mentioning here is an area for improvement, the mindset shift needed for YNAB is also a reason for its success. It's not another budgeting program with a unique interface, it's a different budgeting method altogether. And then lack of investment tracking. Because YNAB solely focuses on budgeting, it's not meant to be a full service personal finance app and won't be a one-stop solution for all managing money of all things. This limitation could be a negative for some people looking for one program that integrates multiple aspects of their financial lives. You can set up your investments as tracking accounts in YNAB, but it requires you to update the value of these accounts manually. While this allows you to track your net worth within the app, it also requires additional regular upkeep that many may not want to bother with. All right, now let's jump over to Empower and its best features. When Empower, uh, formerly known as Personal Capital, first came out, it had a personal finance dashboard and it provided arguably better features than those offered even in paid fintech apps. Empower's dashboard provides real-time net worth, cash flow, and portfolio information in visual displays that make it easy to see exactly where you stand. The first major benefit we find is the cost and the ability to access it. Immediately upon signing up for an Empower account, you will quickly link your accounts and access all of their free tools. They are simple to understand, easy to use, intuitive, and best of all, they're completely free. While free, more than likely comes at the cost of receiving sales pitches from their wealth management services, someone looking for a simple no-cost tool to monitor their finances will find it worth the minor hassle. Also, as far as the sales pitches go, you can just say thanks, but no thanks, and the contact stops. And then there's investment and retirement planning tools. One of the most popular feature of Empower is its Retirement Fee Analyzer Tool. Despite the name, it includes all investment accounts, not just retirement accounts. Empower analyzes your underlying investments and other fees in your accounts. Then it summarizes annual totals and percentages of the fees, as well as their impact on your future portfolio value. In addition, Empower has a robust retirement planning tool that utilizes existing investment account information to estimate how likely your portfolio will support your living expenses in retirement. This tool allows you to customize retirement contributions, future income, and spending goals. Both of these features are typically only found in paid financial apps. However, free access to them in Empower, it's a huge perk. And then centralized financial information. Yes, the dashboard in Empower lets you see all of your financial information at a glance. It's kind of beautiful. Empower has excellent visuals that illustrate where you're at in reaching your financial goals in the following areas. Total net worth, budgeting and cash flow, portfolio balance, retirement savings, emergency fund, debt pay down. These are many of the most significant components of a financial plan. So you can't go wrong with keeping an eye on all of these main areas. Now for Empower's areas for improvement. There are a few areas where some may find Empower lacking compared to other available financial management apps. The first one, sales pitches and ads for services. The free availability of Empower's financial tools does come with sales pitches for investment management. Those who link their accounts and have investable assets of $100,000 can expect to receive a call from Empower with information about available investment management services. Most people will find it worth it to access these free tools. This is true even if you aren't necessarily interested in any of the services that Empower offers. And then another area for improvement is minimal budgeting features. Compared to dedicated budgeting software, Empower's cash flow tool has minimal functionality. Within the app, you can perform basic budgeting tasks, such as managing and categorizing transactions, setting monthly budget amounts, and regularly monitoring how much you've spent as compared to your target amount. This approach to budgeting is reactive rather than proactive. Still, it may work for those who don't struggle with overspending and simply want to ensure that they're spending within a specific guideline without adding unnecessary complexity. And then, lack of ability to personalize. While Empower has a clean, intuitive interface, and it's simple to use, it doesn't offer as many options to customize how you view your information. Customization is limited 
to adding or renaming budget categories, but the ordering and the main category groups are fixed. Of course, if you like how the information is presented in the Empower dashboard and you're looking for something minimal, then this won't be that discouraging of a factor for you. Okay, so who would be the winner if we had to decide between Empower versus YNAB? Well, it's a pretty close competition, honestly. Both are great tools that will help you propel your financial goals forward, albeit in slightly different ways. Both YNAB and Empower focus on intentionally managing your money and achieving your goals. Because of the significant differences, we think YNAB is the winner for budget management and cash flow. Empower wins for gaining clarity on your overall finances within their dashboard, investing, and retirement tools. In addition, folks switching from Mint might find Empower to result in a more seamless transition for tracking cash flow. So ultimately, it comes down to where you are in your financial journey and which features are currently the most important to you. To gain access to YNAB's free 34-day trial, use the affiliate links below or click the link in our video description. Alternatively, you can access Empower and all of its free tools in these affiliate links below, or again, in our video description. Thank you so much for considering using our links, and thank you for hanging out today. This is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money, signing off. Carpe diem.